and what impact it will be there on the system gradually or quickly is what first we have to understand. So first actually uh, the plates are there. We are going to give a charge. So electrostatic induction occurs. After electrostatic induction occurs, then what will happen to the plates that, that we have to see here. Okay, these are the three plates will take it first. There's a plate. All the plates are identical and they are connected by a resistance. So let me give the name A, the middle plate, let it be A. This is B, let this be C. <coughs> and now when I give a charge to it, this was initially there, electrically neutral, I'll give a charge. Uh, what should happen to that charge now? Go, go back to go back to this one charge distribution will occur and here how much of charge will decide plus q by 2 plus q by 2 minus q by 2 plus q by 2 and now you can ask question there's a resistor r is there sir then there must be some flow of charge Well, this what happens. First, I think we have to justify because we have done this problem without register R. So what is telling? A charge is given to middle plate. Plates are connected. Already it's not like some switch closed is there. The register R is connected to the plate B and C. Then I'll give a charge to plate A. This will be electrostatic induction will occur. Will there be any flow of charge occurs or only this much it will be there? So flow of charge, whether it occurs or not, will determine the potential difference. So with respect to A, what is the potential of B and C? With respect to A, what is the potential of B and C? Are same, no? So therefore, now no more any further charge redistribution will occur. Will, will, it will be this much only. I'll take this as initial and we'll calculate that initial potential energy. Let me call UI because it's asking heat generated no, in the rest of R. So let's go for the basic thing. Then I'm going to shift the plate. Okay, how I'm going to shift the plate quickly. So I'm uh, like, a, first of all, uh, if I just give a slight push, what will happen to plate A? And it's telling no gravity, assume free space conditions no gravity, no weight here. So what is the state of this plate A? What type of equilibrium it is having here now? So definitely this plate A will, ex will experience a force due to B and also due to C. So shall I say net force on plate A is zero. No? If I give slight push, if I give slight push, or nothing but we are shifting the plates here. I'm going to the next part of the problem. I'm showing that it is being shifted, you can see, by d by 2. So the, the remaining distance will become 3d by 2. So here, this is a register R. So take this distance, d by 2. Anything will happen to the charges on them. Will they remain as it is like earlier? And no charge will flow. Uh, no change in energy and each generator in the rest will be zero. And the quick quickly also that has to be interpreted here. Anything what will happen to the system here? 
quickly in the sense it is just given a push. There's the meaning here, that one. Gradually shifted means as the X-ray agent will open, it will come into picture, it will supply energy. But here just quickly means what happens, the X-ray agent will not impart any energy to the system. So I I'll, I think this is really very dangerous. Huh? Quickly here. So an external agent. will not impart any energy into the system. I'll write on this side. So you just be careful with the these words, no? Because a lot of weightage here. External agent Will not impart any, or will not impart mechanical energy rather than say, will not impart, impart or add mechanical energy to the system. The reason for that, because the time duration is such that, then we so better you say that he has given a slight push, that's all. Over. And by the time when the plate moves from having a displacement d by 2, what is heat generated? The question is like this. So what are the charges in them? So we are, uh, I, I'll just proceed like this. The charge here, let it be Q1, Q2, minus Q1, minus Q2, Q3, and this is Q3. Uh, charge of which plate should be conserved? Charge of B and C should be conserved, and charge of plate A should be conserved, because we are shifting. By shifting, the charge will remain same of plate A. So what was the charge given to the plate A? Q. So the first equation for plate A, Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2. Then for plate B and C, together you have to consider for plate B and C. What was the earlier charge? Earlier charge it was plus Q by 2 minus Q by 2 plus Q, it will be 0. The final charge will be Q3 minus Q1, Q3 minus Q2. So 2Q3 equal to Q1 plus Q2. Okay, there's the equation 1, equation 2. How many unknowns are there? We have Q1, Q2, Q3, we assume. So next question comes around. What basis you are assuming charges like this? Why don't Q4 here, Q3, Q4? Why the charges must be same on the uh, uh, year? Like, uh, why, why not Q3 and so you make it Q4? And tell me, uh, like, who will decide this? And don't say that to get answer, we have to assume Q3, Q3. I think there should be some reason, no? The net field inside the conductor, the net field inside any conductor must be zero. In that way, the charges must be assumed here. I think you have to go back to again the basic Gauss law. So you, you should not assume here Q3 and this you, Q4. The net field inside the conductor in any conductor will become non-zero. So if it's Q3, if it is Q3, then it will be conserved. Is it okay? No. So it's not like something blind guess we are making. A specific reason is there. Uh, I need one more equation. Uh, is it VAB equal to VBC? Because B and C are joined by a wire. So here one more equation is VAB equal to VBC. So directly write the equation. So Q1 by A epsilon naught d by 2, q2 by a epsilon naught 3d by 2. So therefore q1 is equal to how much it will be? 3q2. Sir, vab equal to vbc or vab equal to vac sir? vab equal to, oh symbol, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make. Okay, I think correct. VAB, VAC. Fine. And these are the three equations are there. Try it, try it, no problem.
Okay, no, uh, I think if you give values of Q1, Q2, Q3, then I'll, I'll come to the problem. I think this is the final diagram, no? This is the initial. Q, 3Q by 4, Q by 4, and Q by 2, sir. 3Q uh, by 4. Uh, Q by 4, huh? Q by 4. Yes, sir. Q by 2. Q by 2. Okay, now we got it. Okay, it's asking now the uh, eat generated, no? So we should calculate initial line, final potential. The final potential will be UF. We'll calculate that initial and final. Uh, what is the equation I should write? The equation should be UI. Again, the, the, don't, don't get deviated. I think the very beginning, the chapter, what we started, we stick down to the same thing. No, I'll, I'll continue same thing. Let's not say like a question change, it concept should not change. No. If any cell is there, work done by the cell. But here, what is work done by X-ray agent? Should be zero, no? Work done by X-ray agent should be zero. Any reason for that <coughs> specifically? Uh, how to calculate first UI? I'll write it down here. I think there's a diagram. No. Uh, what is UI? UI is equal to the energy between the plates of capacitor. So you directly go for energy density formula of epsilon naught. What is the field here? Q by 2 A epsilon naught. Any negative signs, sir? Somebody is giving negative signs. Hmm, yeah, fine. Okay. No, no. How to get the energy in this? So go back to energy density formula. What we had energy density idea. So with that, now what happened? We can write down the equation. So energy density formula of epsilon naught. So what is the field here? Should be Q by two a epsilon naught. Q by two. Q by 2 A epsilon naught O square into A into what is the separation between the plates? D no. A into D plus half epsilon naught. I'm writing directly and work done by extra agent should be zero. Let me write only shade that and that is zero. Okay, now uh, what is uh, UF? UF will be uh, epsilon naught Q1 D by 2 of epsilon naught Q2 by epsilon naught whole square a 3d by 2 volume plus eight now why why that q1 by f to not the field the field between the plates q1 by a f naught will become the field half f to not e square by volume volume is what a d by 2 so directly that value of e i wrote q1 by a f to not here solving this will get expression for h Uh, that quickly, I think so it's having a lot of interpretation. Uh, look at the, uh, I, I think say I, I can justify my, like I don't think that uh, to give the answer, what happens, sir, you are assuming things. So I, I'll justify the the way we assume things. Sir. I'll justify that this, this will be the answer. Okay, now, now we do one thing. Look at the Q1 value. Q1 greater than Q2, no? The moment you give slight push, you see that one. The moment you give slight push, what will happen to the plate A? Say you look at this one. The charge on this face will start increasing, and the charge here, earlier it was Q by two, no? 
now will become q by 4 the charges are decreasing so what will be the net force on the plate it will be upward no so therefore the quickly here in the sense the moment you give slight push what happens the plate a on its own starts moving up and it's asking the heat generated when it is from when the separation is d to d by 2 able to understand no so is this plate a in stable or unstable equilibrium unstable equilibrium I think the problem actually the reason is this one huh? the way we have to interpret that quickly shifted even even so instead of giving push even x agent also it will it will move very fast so that the there's no time for mechanical work done that the meaning of quickly here so I think the problem instead of quickly you should have said that the middle plate is given slight push and released the middle plate is given slight push and release when the separation between the <coughs> plate B and A becomes deep by two find it generated in the process. I think straight away we would have gone into the problem. And the work done by we need not to bother. But he has put that sentence in this particular way. Okay, fine. So now we'll meet. Uh, I think today we'll be writing advanced now. I shall discuss paper tomorrow only because I think Monday uh, not possible. Tomorrow I'll give some time because today we'll be writing now. So only one hour I'll take it. Huh? Just only paper will discuss advanced paper. Fine. Tomorrow I'll intimate the time. Sir. Ah, oh, yeah. In this question, you are telling that the external agent is giving it a slight push, and like when A moves a bit up, the charge on A, the, uh, the charge on the upper side of A is increasing, and that force is causing it to move up. So work mm -hmm. done by external agent is zero. Sir, the force that is pulling up A, that is that force is coming from the field energy. And that field energy is what we are equating to heat generated. Ah, oh, okay, fine. What Taking it two times, sir. We are, it's, we are telling that the field energy is causing A to move as well as releasing heat. No, no we'll do one thing. Uh, this particular thing. So here, again, look at that one. There is no effect of anything No, here. A charge Q is given to th that's why I said the interpretation actually the meaning of that is the X agent will move quickly that one so work done by it is almost like a is zero there's no sir if the plate is moved quickly then you we require a, there is a large change in momentum of the plate we are applying more work no nothing like that nothing like that nothing sir like what that. I think is he by quickly shifting he meant that when I shift the plate quickly the charges on the plate won't uh, shift intense, uh, instantaneously. After shifting, when I release it, then there is no effect of external agent, and then we can apply U i equal to U f plus h. No, not 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 not. <laughs> See, if a shifty term, the moment it starts shifting, only open the redistribution of charge should occur. Not like after shifting again, you'll keep there. No, that that will be totally wrong way. He's telling quickly, no sir. Ah, that quickly. So the moment you start shifting, redistribution of charge will occur. Sir, in many other chapters, in many other questions, whenever they gave quickly shifted, for example, in thermodynamics also, when they gave quickly shifted, we considered many quantities to remain common. How you can logically interpret here? No, sir. I'm telling that that phrase is commonly it's, used for telling a, that some quantities remain in constant. It's a very simple here. What is the thing is like a redistribution of charge will occur. No, here. So the moment you shift A, redistribution of charge will occur. Redistribution of charge has to take place. That, that's the basic idea of this problem. No. Sir, so only... you're telling that when I move it, like the instant I begin and the instant I stop, at the instant I stop, I'll have these final charges in the right side diagram. Ah, that one. But you only told the charges won't, uh, sh won't shift instantaneously. Yeah, th see, that is electrostatic induction will not occur again. What will happen here? Th this is like a initial and final diagram I put it. Huh? So the initial and final diagram is what we have put it. And what happened? There'll be flow of current to the resistor R also. The capacitance of system has to change, no? The simple idea. Now you know capacitance. 
So what we are doing, we are the, the system is having a charge. You are disturbing the capacitance. So definitely, there'll be a flow of charge. 